Hello everyone. Now I will present you breathing handshakes, open urban rooms, and water courtyard project. In this project, I have tried to reveal the link potential of existing varied street life and dynamic commercial activities on the ground floors through tackling the two major problems of life in handshake towers, clean water scarcity and sunlight inadequacy. The major problems we see in Bashiju due to the built environment are lack of infrastructure, clean water scarcity, high urban density, lack of sunlight in interiors and alleyways, and even though there is diverse and intense commercial activities on the ground floors, it is disorganized and unhygienic. And in this design, I wanted the handshakes to breathe, so to speak, through several interventions. The organization of shops and ground floors, catalyzing a slow transformation throughout the urban village and a new core design integrated with a water courtyard idea, which will provide natural ventilation, sunlight and rainwater collection. Through these interventions, we can expect to achieve some sociocultural benefits, such as enhanced urban walkability and proximity, thus attracting more tourists and customers. Also, flexible store spaces will be created, which can be adapted according to feature needs. The economic value of Bashiju is mostly created by the commercial activity on the ground floors of the buildings. Looking at the existing shops, it is seen that most of the economic gain comes from retail and accommodation services. So this design can benefit both business owners, landlords and the villagers. And the business owners and landlords can be the main financiers of this improvement. As a first step, we will remove the facades on the street level of commercial buildings in the background of the village and the main pedestrian streets. Then, an inventory of the existing businesses, busy alleys and corner buildings should be done beforehand. In step 3, scratchy additions on the ground level like fences and unnecessary wall extensions should be removed and core circulations should be added or renewed. In step 4, ex existing steps and sidewalks will be rearranged as platforms for the new open ground. In this step, some partial cut of the buildings can be done to have a more organized street flow. Finally, with the articulation of new business modules on the platform, we can expect a non-disturbed human flow building program relationship. In this phase, I select this building in purple square as a pilot to further detail the concept design. Based on the space syntax analysis, we can see the integration is enhancing, especially in the main street and the background street, where the reddest axes are. Also, secondary important axes observed are surrounding the red axis and strengthening the general proximity. This leads us to conclusion that opening up the ground floors will most likely contribute to walkability and the strengthening of the commercial activity on the ground floors. Here is a view from an alleyway. As a second part of the project, I wanted to develop the central core idea with the water courtyard concept. In Chinese vernacular architecture, courtyards are used for natural cooling and as central green spaces. And even today, the villagers are gathering in courtyards to provide their need for fresh clean water from the communal sunken ring. And I wanted to create a link to this culture through combining a core circulation with an intervention to provide natural lighting and clean water. A water and light tunnel will be adapted to the pocket courtyard surrounding the circulation core to supply the light and water need, and the modularity of the design will allow it to adapt in case any new floors will be added in the future. Here I provided some exemplary configurations for the courtyard and the upper residential floors. A view from the ground floor through the water courtyard. Water and light tunnel will contain three parts, top, body and bottom. On the top part, a membrane held by a PVC structure will provide sheathing and transmit the water to the plastic tube on the body part. This tube will be surrounded by a light amplifier angle mirror system, which will reflect the light till the first floor. The outer layer will be a damp catcher mesh and the whole system will be connected through circular steel frames, which will be hanged with tension ropes to the core wall. While the inner tube transmits the rainwater, the damp catcher mesh will trap the moisture 
inside the system and the condensed water will be collected through a ball on the end part of the body, which then will be transferred to the water tank underneath the courtyard. Since DIY is kind of the separate of the urban villages, I wanted the design to be easily made by people themselves and encourage upcycling and recycling to reusing very common materials in urban villages like PVC pipes. Also, I encouraged the method of recycling the plastic bottles by heating and melting them together to create a surface for the creation of the water transmitter tube, which needs to be very long and lightweight. Another view from the rooftop. In conclusion, Breeding Handshakes project is aiming to strengthen the commercial and touristic value of the village with its new street charm and help develop and modernize the area without causing gentrification by initiating a slow renewal. Refurbishment or demolition will support a more diverse community in which everyone feels belonging. Thank you for listening.